Welcome back to Ark's Fatalis. Once again, we return to the crypt in our search for the Shield of the Ancients. So apparently I need to solve this riddle if I want to get through the gate up there. A ghostly riddle. From the always truth-telling ghost, apparently. Unless, when he says he always tells the truth, he's actually lying. <gasps> no, he's probably telling the truth. Alright, so there's a riddle. Do you remember? You come from the setting sun and go towards the rising sun. Um, before I really try to solve it, let's just take a look around. <laughs> Rotating plate. Okay, so these obviously represent the tablets that I have. Can I use it on it? Like, where do I actually use the tablets, though? Obviously, I need to use the tablets somewhere, or I, or I wouldn't have them, right? And again, there's a couple tablets I'm missing, so how many do I have? I have four? Yeah, I have four, so I'm missing two. I'm missing that one. And... And that one. Yeah, I'm missing that one too. So each one corresponds to a different shape here. Hmm. Well, obviously I need to go back to where I saw these, these shapes here imprinted in the ground and find something. I hope I didn't make a big mistake by breaking the glass. <laughs> it wouldn't be funny if the information I needed, w needed was actually on the glass. No, there's no way. They wouldn't lie to screw yourself over like that. Would they? No. No, no, no. God, I wish I had torches. What the hell is this? Hmm. Those are strange symbols. I wonder if they mean anything. So there's actually three sets of symbols. There's symbols behind these things. And then there's these rotating symbols. This is the only thing I can actually move. And then there's these symbols. There's quite a lot to this. Oh, there's a pathway up there. <gasps> Can only be accessed from inside of there, though, which I can't get into until I solve the riddle. Wouldn't it be funny if you could, if you had like an extremely high, um, what's the skill called? If you had an extremely high technical skill, you could just lockpick the door and just completely bypass the riddle. You couldn't do that, could you? I'm pretty sure there's no way you can lockpick it. It's impossible. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> that would be a little bit too far. <laughs> okay, let's go back and take a look at what's down here. going to a different floor. And we're going ever more down. Holy shit, we're on level 7. I'm pretty sure I do need the two other stone uh, carving slab things, so perhaps they're down here? I don't like this place.
a zombie in there, I think. I really wish I had more torches. made out of bones. <laughs> there we go. I hate this night vision. It looks so disgusting. Hello. Oh, it's a mummy. Sweet, I can just kill it with a fireball. Or two fireballs. Three fireballs? There we go. Ah, my eyes burn from the color. Ugh. With my night vision, it's really hard to tell. I, I think it's red. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's trapped. Yeah, because this one is not red. How far would it be to go back to the teleporting thing? I kind of want to go buy torches. It's kind of far. It's kind of far. Yeah, I'm not going back for torches. Alright, let's bless my... Oh, crap. I forgot, that takes up mana, or... I don't know if it actually takes up mana, or just prevents me from... gaining back mana. Which I suppose does mean it takes up mana that's... pretty close to the amount that I gain mana back? Anyway. Uh, bless myself, and use some tools. Shiny armor. Magic plated chest of extra protection. <sighs> Needs 14 strength, of course. Damn it. 10 armor? What's my current armor? Man, four more armor over my current one. That's, that's a pretty good upgrade. But I'm not going to put any more points into strength, so that is not going to happen. I'm sure it's worth a hell of a lot, though. Not that money has any real meaning anymore, considering I have 11,000 and I'm about to have probably about. Ten more thousand once I sell all this junk. You know, something I've never gone back to, though, is... Um, oh, it's a gold coin. Hello. Uh, something I've never gone back to is the bank back at the City of Arcs. If you remember, I, I went there initially thinking maybe I could store my stuff there, and it turns out I couldn't. But I'm pretty sure one of the things I could buy was, like, shares of the goblin mines or something? I have no idea what that's about or how it works, but maybe I can just buy all the shares to the Goblin Mines and just own the damn thing. Wouldn't that be cool? Be the owner of a mine. I don't even care if it does anything. I just kind of want to be able to say, yes, I am the owner of a mine. Because that's cool. I don't like long hallways. Long hallways are never good. God, my mana regen is so slow. Seems like there's actually not too much in these rooms. I feel like I might not even get to the riddle in this episode.
Hi. Whoa. Sprightly little fellow. I can't, I can't believe how easily I moved that stone tablet. That, this thing, which is pretty much solid stone, would have to weigh hundreds and hundreds of pounds. <laughs> Plated leggings. Ah, another 14 strength thing. I still have room. Wow. I have so much room. I'm like a pack mule. Hello. Looks interesting. His Majesty King Poxelis's quarters. Follow the watchman's instructions or keep out. I'm still stuck between wanting to use night vision and wanting to not ever use it. It's so hideous. I can I can see well enough. It's just I can't see comfortably. And it's probably even harder to see for you. This is weird. A pathway that just goes nowhere? Suspicious. Is there a secret button or something? Alright, I'll use night vision. Ah, this probably... Oh wait, that's red, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is. Probably opens this. No. No, it doesn't. Did it move back? No. Have at ye. Uh. <sighs> Trying to keep track of where I've been and where I haven't. The mini-map doesn't work all too well for small quarters like this, because it tends to reveal parts of the map that you actually haven't visited before. So it's a little bit hard to tell where you've been and where you haven't. Okay, that one's not trapped. Ooh, okay, I think that opened it. No? Okay, it opens something. Let's just follow the watchman's instructions. I wonder if I can find the watchman. The watchman's instructions. And maybe that would allow me to get inside. It definitely opens something. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, it opened that. That was closed before. Got a couple bones left. Wait. It's not a pressure plate? Oh, shit, wait. Eh. Uh. It seems that it is. What? It only seems to press when I take something off. I don't get it. 
Uh, I wonder if I can actually detrap it. I've never tried to detrap a pressure plate or whatever this thing is. Yeah, seems you can. There you go. Uh, it's still red. Alright. Apparently it's fine. I guess it's a reverse pressure plate? A single wooden stake? Is that it? I guess I'm really gonna need them. Beyond this point is the maze of the lost souls. Uh-oh. That's a spike pit. It's a little bit hard to tell, but that is certainly a spike pit. Alright, I can... Leviatate over that if I want. But first, let's exhaust our other options. might cover the spike pit. Because this is like next to the spike pit. Through the wall. Yeah, that might cover it. Let's see if it did. Ah, it did. Cool. Just don't fall through the cracks. I hear you. Come here. Yeah. There's no, like, hidden torches in here, is there? Nope. I wish there was a glow spell. Like, instead of stupid night vision, wouldn't it be nice to have a glow? Like this? Like that glow? Except constant? In fact, you can kind of light up the world just by casting... <laughs> just, just by casting. Not even casting anything in particular. This would be an annoying way to navigate, though, wouldn't it? It's actually effective, though, if you wanted to stay put. Cast this off to the side. It works. It doesn't really work for moving around, though. Because you can't move your view. In fact, is there... There's got to be a spell that does that, right? I mean, it seems so obvious. I wonder if it's related to Ignite. Well, I mean, Douse is the opposite of Ignite. I wonder if there's a variant of it. Perhaps a hidden spell? I don't have one already, do I? No, it certainly wouldn't be this high level. You know, let's try it. Let's try a spell I've never tried before. Let's try... Mass Lightning Projection. I think I tried to cast this before and I couldn't. Let's see if I can now. Here we go. Is it gonna work? Holy shit! That is awesome. Also, I'm getting like 2 FPS. Holy crap. The lag. Took up almost all my mana, but that was sweet. There's nothing really in here, huh? There is that nagging feeling that perhaps I could cast Reveal and find something. 
But if I casted that everywhere, then that would get very annoying very quickly. I heard you. Well, I have a feeling there might be a pathway behind here. Just, just a feeling, you know? I don't know if it's the rat head sticking through the wall, or perhaps the fact that I can actually see a pathway on my mini-map, but I'm pretty sure there's something here. It's probably opened with a lever. Whoa, what the hell was that? Shoot goes all weird here. That's a spike pit behind there. There's a lever, probably opens that door. Gonna poke him through the bars. Got them both. Killed two bird rats with one stone. No, that opened something over there. Yeah, something this way. Oh, to open that. Hello? Hello? Ooh, what is that? What is this? Open something. What is this? Looks like a blessed water basin of life. Does it do anything? I can't use it. <laughs> I have no idea what the purpose of this is. It's pretty. Do I need to reveal something? Nope. What if I drop something in the water? Does it become blessed? I don't know. Strange. Perhaps its purpose will become clear later. Alright, so I opened something with that. Oh, I opened this. I'm sure there's a lever that covers the pit, so I probably don't need to levitate. Let's keep looking around. Yeah, I don't know if this is, if this is even relevant to the the, um, the riddle at all. But regardless, it's fun to explore. So I actually haven't found the lever that opens this. I guess the only way I can go is this way. Alright, levitate it is. if I prick my toes on the spikes if I'll instantly die. Sweet. Ah, this probably opens the other. Uh, the door with the rat behind it. And what does this do? I can't use it. Can I break it? Ah, hello.
key to something. Let's see if it opened the door with a rat behind it. No. What did it do? I mean, this isn't something that can be lockpicked, right? No. I didn't think so. It doesn't have a lock. It needs to be opened from somewhere else. Did it perhaps do something to the special room? The blessed room? No. I haven't noticed anything that actually could take a key. I couldn't even imagine what the key is for. Can I hear anything happen when I press this? I don't hear anything. I suppose it could have opened that uh, door all the way back. The one with the statue behind it. How even was that? I think it was all the way back here, right? Yeah, no, it's still closed. I'm getting the feeling that this is not relevant to the riddle because I haven't found a single stone. I am curious what this is all about, though. And what could that key be for? I'm going to keep looking around, and if I can find something, I'll be right back. Okay, well, I kept searching around down there, and I couldn't find anything. I found two pathways that I could see on the minimap, but I couldn't go into. I couldn't figure out a way to open the hidden doors. I feel like I'm just not supposed to go down there yet. So there's two pathways I couldn't go through, I didn't know how to activate them, and I also have one key, and I'm not sure what the key is for. I mean, actually, in addition to the two pathways I couldn't find a way into in the maze, there's also the one place with the statue inside of it that I also couldn't figure out a way to open. So I'll just save that for later, and I'm going to try the riddle. Also, I had a very exciting idea, and I wonder if I can do it. I was thinking, okay, I keep running out of torches, right? However... I do know that if you enchant something with Anakar's Rock, it makes it have unlimited durability. And torches run out by their, dur their durability going down. Can I enchant a torch with Anakar's Rock and make it have unlimited durability and light stay lit forever? I need to try that because that sounds incredibly cool and I would love it if I could do that. Unfortunately, I don't have anything any torch on me, nor do I have Anakar's Rock on me. I've got that stored bark back at the castle. So, let's just try this. Let's just try the riddle. So, I'm not sure what the first part is about. The, you come from the setting sun and go towards the rising sun. But the next part, I think I can do. To go beyond the sun, identify and honor the six elements of the six ancients. Place the turning slabs in the position of the six houses of the ancients. So maybe I actually don't need all of these stone slabs. Maybe I don't. Because it doesn't seem to say anything about them. It just says place the turning slabs in the position of the six houses of the ancients. <laughs> Which are just these, right? I mean, these are the turning slabs, obviously. So I don't know what these are about, but... Yeah, I, I guess I just need to get their relative position correct, I suppose. So let's just head back and record their location, I guess.
All right. Um, let's see. How's this gonna be laid out? So that's the moon sliver. Start drawing a picture here. Let's see. I'm gonna start drawing this and I'll be right back. Okay, got the base image down so I can actually draw these on my map and understand where the hell I put them. So the center one is the half moon with a dot. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, that one's the weird symbol. It's very strange. There we go. So I can see that the map is roughly laid out, like how the turning slabs are laid out. Roughly, not exactly, but it's fairly close. this thing. What the hell is this? I never figured out what to put in that, did I? It's a weird shape. Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, that's the car fuse thing. go. That's the sun. And there's that. Okay, that should be all I need. I don't know, it feels too easy. Like, what are, what are these things about? I don't have all of them, and... They must be for something to do with this, obviously, because those are the symbols. <clears throat> so, something seems off. And I'm not sure what these symbols mean, either. Regardless. The question does remain of exactly which direction I'm supposed to set these up in. Is this supposed to mirror what happened behind me, or am I supposed to do it the opposite direction? So there's two different ways this could be configured. I'm gonna try mirroring it. Or no, let's let's try copying it. Uh let's see. Left side B that. Then the sun. Where is it? I guess it's just that. That's weird, because when I wrote it down, it has a dot in the center, but this one doesn't really... Eh, close enough. Oop. Actually, that was on the right one. Now I have to go all the way around. <sighs> the life of an adventurer. This one would be... Um, now I've gotten confused. Hold on. Oh, there we go. I reorientated myself. So this one, assuming I'm doing this the right way, would be this one. No, I believe I'm not doing this the right way. Okay. Let's do it the opposite way, apparently. Well, I messed around with it a bit more, and nothing happened, so I think there's more to it than what I was doing there. Which makes sense, because it did seem too easy. So... I'm trying to make sense of the symbols. The symbols that are connected to these slabs. There's all these other symbols, and I'm thinking... I'm thinking I need to find some information about the Ancients, because I'm supposed to be honoring the six Ancients. 
So I've gone out to the main chamber, and it turns out there's actually a bunch of tombs here that I haven't opened. Perhaps there's something important inside. I don't know if these are the ancients, though, because, I mean, there's more than six of them. But there's six lights, which is why I'm pretty sure it's up there where you're supposed to find the information that you need. Oh, hello. <laughs> I guess here's the rest of them. I still don't know, I don't, I don't know what to do with them, though. Like, I can't seem to use them anywhere. What's the point? Fireball. Thank you. Gladly sell that. No thanks. That's too heavy. Is it? Hmm. Join us. Oh god. Alright, uh, I think I need to put them to sleep. Oh yeah, I've got seven of these. Sweet. Be one of us. Oh, there we go. Much more peaceful. Sure, they don't have the signs on them themselves. Oh, was that four necklaces? I, I think that zombie had four necklaces on it. What the hell? It's weird. <gasps> hmm. <clears throat> I'm still missing one of the slabs. <clears throat> It's probably under the one that's too heavy to open. Well, how the hell do I open it then? Can I break it open? No. Leverage it open with a stick? I can make a fishing pole. That'd be stupid. Hmm. Is it related to my strength? What if I bless myself? Because it does increase my strength. Nope. What about telekinesis? I've never actually used that. How does it work? Oh, it just means I can... Oh, that's cool. So you can just move items that are really, really far away. Just as you normally would. That's neat. Uh, when was my last save? I just saved, right? Yeah, I did. Good. Okay. Calm down, Amshigar. Calm down. I wonder if that symbol means something. Because it did say go from the rising sun into the... From the setting sun into the rising sun, I think. And to go beyond the sun. Perhaps once I solve the riddle, it'll allow me to go through that tomb. Maybe it opens into a chamber or something. I'm not sure what setting and rising sun it's talking about. I mean, that looks kind of like a sun, I suppose. Lots of vials of blood. Make sure I didn't miss it. Uh, stone tablet.
Nope. Yeah, I don't know what to actually do with them. Can I put them in these cubbies? I'm supposed to identify the six, the elements, the, the ancients, the elements of the ancients. None of those are going to fit. I mean, these, these things are actually quite small. All right, well, I'm going to have a think about this. Uh, but I'm going to save it for the next episode, because this episode is already running kind of long. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.